Next stop on the Castro Ledge Nationwide Series brings us to Michigan Speedway, a fun place to race in. Was it really so? It's the running of the Alliance Truck Parts 250, part of the Michigan doubleheader for the Castro Ledge Nationwide Series and the Castro GTX Cup Series. On the pole for this event, it's Jacob Lawler, car number 99. Beside him, it's Lisa Shears, number 79. Row number 2, Amy Bush in 23. And Rohit Baderview in number 54. Then it's John, Azel, John Acosta in the 33. And the 31 is Samuel Mills in row number 3. Row number 4, Mark Matthews in 87. And Jacob Budd in the 14. Row number 5 is the number 5 of Austin Ogo. And John Azalea in number four. And here comes the command to fire them up here at Michigan. Drivers, start your engines. And giving the fire the engines. Run number six has Dalton Day in the 88. And beside him is Craig Batson, number 43. Row number uh, seven has... Nick Newman in the 18 and a 55 of Cameron Gilson. And then it's Jeff James and and Jake Williams in row number 7 and row number 8. And then row number 9 has the 24 Stephen Power to 3rd and the 15 of Jared Stone. And look at this spectator view right there. This is what the start of the of the Alliance Chuck Parts 250 looks like. The green flag waves and we're underway here at Michigan. Jacob Lawler jumps out in front, car number 99. The Alex Bowman car out in front. Amy Bush now moves in the second place right now, number 23. 33 of John Acosta moves in the third spot right now. First lap led by Jacob Lawler. He's one of the hot drivers right now in the Cashel GTX Cup Series. Having won the last two events, he's going for the hat trick here <coughs> in that series. Mark Matthews, car number 87, going for the number two position right now. Clicking off laps now, over 201 miles an hour on this racetrack. That's about what a pole speed was. But they run faster than a draft, as you see right there, through the, as we look through the field. A lot of 202 mile hour speeds on the, throughout the field. Forty-four on the inside is Jeff James, car number forty-four. Almost pulled off his first Castle GTX Cup Series of vic vic victory at Pocono, the last race on the tour there. Being one of the two drivers being passed on the final lap of that event. But Jeff James currently right now runs in the In the fourth spot. Here comes Mark Matthews inside for the lead on Jacob Lawler, and he's gonna get it in turn number two. Or turn number four, excuse me. Dalton Day now goes in second place right now. Jeff James in the going for third. Austin uh, Dylan Ogo, excuse me. <coughs> inside of Jacob Lawler, now Stephen Power to third. Jacob Budd also down there. And look at this gaggle of cars right behind being led by Jake Williams in 32. And 
And he's got Taylor Acosta in the 30 right behind him. The Road America winner in the 10. Nicole Williams for one of the two Jennifer Joe Cobb cars in the field. The number 10 driven to honor Ford Mustang. Nicole so far having a pretty good season so far in her first years in the seasons in the Cash GK Scuppers in the Cash Legend Nationwide series. Nicole currently rides currently rides ninth in the in the moment. Nick Nealman behind in tenth. Drew Austin getting a shove from Keith Batson right by Taylor Acosta in the 30 car. Amy Bush right there, and there's Charles Jackson going by his good buddy Cody Lamas. Daniel Day's in there. Samuel Ogo, our winner of the similar truck on the tour, California. He's got the California setup underneath his number zero one car. The Ogos have been one of the hottest family teams on the on any series so far in any of my series, I should say at least. In fact, uh, Austin Ogo currently leads the the Traxxas Truck Series points right now. Cameron Gilson is there, 55. He currently runs in the 21st spot. There's John as John Acosta in the 33. He's leading Craig Batson in that mix. Craig the winner at Richmond this season. There's the car he calls Jenny Joe, Joshua Collard. Currently 15th in the point chase right now. He uh, almost took the Nashville win on the short track. There had let, dump, let started to pull, let, all, let the dominated much of the all race long and then Got taken up by two lap cars, and there you see Dougie Shears in the 77 going right by him. Same with the 31 of Samuel Mills. But Collard hopes to get back on the winning track, but not as long as he's on the outside, he ain't. As he's getting freight trained on the outside line. Rohit Bader in the 54, he's right there, about to get past Joshua Collard. Right behind him, the Dover winner. Kyle Matthews in a number 70 number 70 car, the Johanna Long car for ML Motorsports. And Kyle hoping that win at Dover is giving him some give, gives him will give him some momentum. Well. Not sure about that, but so far at least he's got his first win in the nationwide out of the way. Right now, if he can only ever get his first win ever in cup and trucks now. It uh, maybe you know, he may be on his way, but I'll tell you, Kyle Matthews, uh, so far, right now, 29th spot right now, but we'll see if he's clocked at this time by. Matthews currently 10th place in the points chase, I think, so he's right up there in the points hunt. And Kyle Matthews right now being currently showed at, showed in... 28th right now, so he's only gained so he's gained a spot. Joshua Collard still sliding back in that number 13 car. And my as I said, this is the same car that won five races last season for him. But right now it's dropped down to the last place or almost last place. Angel Navarro currently holds that. The championship leader not having a good run so far. Right now, Jeff James currently holds the lead right now at car number 44. The, the Toyota up ahead of the field. Jake, Jake Williams in the 32 runs second. Third right now, Dylan Ogo in number three. Jacob Budd going in fourth place right now. Number 14, Hefty Reynolds Toyota, the Eric McClure car for TriStar Motorsports. And Mark Matthews going inside of Dalton Day. Dalton Day currently uh, in the championship hunt. He's currently second in points. And with Angel Navarro running as fast as he is right now, Dalton's got a chance to gain a lot on the points deal now. That's provided, of course, if you can get a top 10 finish or better. But right now, he's being freight on the outside. He's got three wide there between he, Amy Bush, and uh, the 99 and Jacob Lawler. Now, Stephen Pollard, the third and the 24, going by him now. Taylor Acosta, in the 30. 
She's right there. Dalton thinking, come on, guys, give me a break here. Let, let, me, let, me, let me on the inside. But here comes Craig Batson and um, Nicole Williams right there, and so is the 55 of Cameron Gilson. And now, I think Dalton's going to be let back in line. Well, no, he's still on the outside of Taylor Acosta. And now Nicole's going to dive inside of both Dalton Day and Taylor Acosta. And I tell you what, that 10 car Nicole Williams is driving, she's third points. For, she's third right now in the points chase. So she also would rather, uh, is rather happy to see Angel Navarro run bad right now. So Nicole hoping to gain some points herself. <laughs> Meanwhile, battle for the lead right now. Look at this. Amy Bush, car 23, going for second, actually. Right now it's the two TriStar Motorsports cars up front. Jeff James in the 44 and the 14 of Jacob Budd. Amy Bush now goes in the third with Stephen Pollard the third and fourth. Cameron Gilson swings down three wide for, I think this is for our sixth spot. And Gilson's got it and leaves Nicole Williams stuck up the middle now. And now Dalton Day's being finally let back in line. Now he's going to make his way back up to the top ten. Battling for the top ten, maybe for a top five. Jared Stone in the 15 car. He's right there as well. Stone and Dylan Ogo getting a little cozy there coming out to number four. Dalton Day up to eight, but maybe sliding back again because he's shut up high once again now. Jared Stone and the gang right there on the inside. All the while now we've got three laps to go. Coming to two to go this time by for Jeff James. Car number 44. Can he hold off the whole field? He's got Jacob Budd in tow in the number 14 car. Two laps to go. 19 laps has been the distance here today. It'll be 20 for the Casual GTX Cup Series event. Jake Williams is inside of Stephen Pollard III for the number three, for the number four position now. This time Bobby, the white flag, Amy Bush for the number two spot. Here she comes on the inside of Jacob Budd. And meanwhile, Jeff James will see the white flag, but can he hold off the field now? White flag weighs one lap remaining here at Michigan. <clears throat> Who's it going to be in the Alliance Truck Parts 250? Jeff James deploys first. Amy Bush now goes in a second. Nicole Williams goes three wide for the number four spot. Backstretch, Jeff James has one half lap remaining. Jacob Budd does inside of Amy Bush now, and that's going to be all that Jeff James may need want, may want to see. As they come out corner number four, the Alliance Truck Parts 250 at Michigan will belong to Jeff James. He wins today at Michigan. Car number 44, the victory lane for the first time this season. Jacob Budd finishes second, Amy Bush third, Nicole Williams a fourth place run for her, and fifth place is Stephen Pollard to third as they come down a pressure on the cool down lap. Just tremendous racing here today at Michigan Speedway. Average speed 201.811 miles an hour. And there. There's the rest of the, there's the finishing order right here. Jeff James wins. Jacob Budd second. Amy Bush comes home the season best third. Fourth was Nicole Williams. Fifth, Stephen Paul the third. Cameron Gilson comes home sixth. Seventh was Jared Stone. John Acosta eighth. Jake Williams ninth. Tenth place was Taylor Acosta. Dalton Day eleventh. Twelfth, Mark Matthews. Samuel Mills. Rohit Baderview. Tim Gardner finishes 15th, 16th was John Azalea, 17th Kyle, Kyle Austin, Dylan Ogo, 18th, 19th Keith Batson, and 20th Dylan Young.
rest of the finishing order, see where you finished in the race. Angel Navarro, the championship leader. He didn't need that last place run. A lot of notables down there. Cody Lamas, 22nd. Uh, Charles Jackson, 24th. Jacob Lawler, 27th. Our pulse over the event. Joshua Collar, 29th. Kyle Matthews in 31st position. A lot of big names under Drew Austin, 34th. But a big win here for Jeff James as he takes home the title here at Michigan Speedway. Getting ready for the Pepsi Max 250 at Daytona International Speedway will be the next stop on the tour. And Angel Navarro has a now 8-point lead. So what was 130 points has now been chopped to 8 because of a series of bad runs thus far. So the team better get it together for Daytona. His team, uh, as we know, near halfway through the, field, the season... Nicole Williams currently is second by eight points. Dalton Day is 21 back in third. 21 back, I should say, excuse me. Drew Austin, Joshua Michaels, the top five. And then all the way down to um, John Acosta in third and 20th spot. Rest the order right there in the points. Next stop on the tour, next stop there will be the Pepsi Max 250. Daytona should be an exciting race. Don't miss it.